We begin to begin tonight with a speaker from Kananara. But due to wild weather and ceremony duties, uh, she hasn't been able to appear live tonight. But we do have an amazing recording from Kununurra Trial Zone 2 from Beverly Waverley. And Hayden is going to play that for us tonight. Thanks everyone for being here. And thank you to our wonderful speakers who you'll be introduced to as we go throughout the night. Hayden, would you like to introduce Beverly's speech? Thank you. Okay. We okay, will make so, uh, this available in MP4 format after tonight. Yeah, and I'll let Beverly introduce herself. I think she does a great job of uh, explaining her qualifications on this matter. Um, I'm currently living and residing in Kununurra, Kimberley, uh, the trial regent for the cash debit card, and um, I'm retired from education, although uh, I've been quite busy as the chairperson for our All Valley Aboriginal Health Services uh, based in Kununurra. Awesome. Um, and then I'll uh, just let you speak to your experience of what it was like when the cashless welfare card trial came to Kalanara and sure. what, you uh, what you noticed. Yeah, sure. Um, okay. would like to advise everybody that since the uh, rollout of the CDC card in the East Kimberley trial region, Kalanara, uh, we are to understand it initiated or start in uh, May 2016. Um, now, when it first came apart to everyone in the community, the majority were um, advised about it and uh, no consultation and, um, you know, everyone was quite up in the air as to what is this uh, cash debit card? Why are we on this debit card? Why weren't we, you know, uh, informed about this? Uh, why didn't the leaders come forward? So basically what I'm saying, there was a lot of um, uproar about this. There was no acknowledgement uh, to clients or recipients um, in regards to being put on this card. So what happened initially, we had a brief meeting about this um, when it first came out and announced that East Kimberley, Kununurra would be the trial region. We had a little debriefing meeting in, uh, I think it was April, May of that year. So it was just in brief, asking everybody's point of views, if they knew about it, how they felt about it, and, you know, do you think this is the right thing that they're doing? Uh, and what sort so, of response did you get? Everyone was angry. They were fuming. They were so frustrated. Yeah. Um, and asked the questions. Why? One of the main questions was, why weren't we consulted about it? Yeah. You know, don't go ahead without asking us. Why are you doing this? So after that little brief meeting, we decided to have a big meeting. We invited all managers from agencies. We also invited the Labor, um, or the Kimberley at that point in time was Josie Farrow, which came along. And of course, she's observed. And we invited our four leaders that initiated and had announced and um, went ahead with the um, signing of the card to be um, a, the go ahead in Kununurra. Yep. So um, we had a huge turnout on that, about 80 people on the proxy. We knew Saturday would not have arrived and they completely told us they did not receive the invite. Um, we had a few managers from other businesses there that came along and um, we had a massive outcome, a lot of angry people. Questions were thrown at the leaders um, as to why, you know, they weren't consulted. Some were throwing back, you know, why don't you just go on the cashless debit card? Um, one old lady, it was devastating. She just broke down emotionally and said, you know, you guys, you know, you want to be coming to us. Yeah. It's not right. Um, we should be allowed to spend our own money. And um, to be honest, since then, when it all happened, nobody knew of how or when are they going to get the money? Yeah. So what happened was um, it started rolling in and the most devastating part about it, it credited into their accounts, but they had to wait for their cards so they could not access their, their money. Wow. Yes. You know, and there was a lady, for an example, who was on the basic card who didn't have no idea coming from the NC. And I really felt for her because when she went to check her balance, basically it just, Everything was already transferred to the cashless debit card. Oh, wow. So she was so 
devastated. She ended up going to see Centrelink about it. It was traumatic because she had little children. Yeah. And the other thing that they found during this journey now was that, you know, the transaction fees. Yeah, I've heard We're being charged when they go to the shopping centres. Yeah. And the majority of them didn't know anything about credit and savings. No. You know, there was no, they did say reference service. There was no reference service. Later on down the track, six months later, they talked about a panel. Nobody knew about a panel, who to go to. Yeah. And at that point in time, the process was just huge for a lot of people who did not understand technology. Yes. We did not understand a mobile phone. We did mm. have no idea about it, about getting credit. You know, let alone so this made-up system that no one understood anyway. Uh, no, exactly. And um, look, my I myself was on it. You know, and I thought, oh wow. Actually, to me, I found that as an insult. You know, I worked all yeah. my life. I'm retiring at the moment. And I tell you what, it just it really does something to you. It makes you. Oh, it's, it just changed your mind and, and, you're, and, you're, and you're thinking, you thought, wow, you know, this is really happening. This is happening to you. And, and correct and me if I'm wrong, you were, had a quite a reputable career as an educator, which is something our communities need. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I thought, no, it's just really happening. Well, it is happening. I'm not different than anybody else. Well, yeah, you're going on the car coming. And I accepted that. But until one such time, I said, I told the lady, I said, no, no, no. This, you know, I, I already have... A chronic disease. I'm asthmatic. I have heart issues, but everything's so fine at the moment. But the point of time, yeah. it just shuts you down. Yeah, and, and probably exacerbated those conditions as well. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um, I thought, no. Nah. So, you know, and a lot of them weren't really, didn't understand. Like, I know, I believe those that do like it is basically because they're not the smokers or the drinkers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, good on them if they if they uh, don't have any issues with it and they're saving and they're buying cars. And it. But think about the vulnerable people. Yeah. You know, the less fortunate. The majority let of them, the people. Yeah, let them spend the money how they want to spend them. You cannot change the way they live. Yeah. And it basically what I've seen from there up until now, mate, it's just, it's just deteriorated the quality of life. And so now it's sort of like, oh, you know, it's the cash debit card. Yeah, when is it going to stop? Yeah, I mean... Give up. It's supposed to be a trial, and this trial just keeps getting extended. Mm, that, mm. That's what's insulting as well. That's that exactly right, you know. Yeah. And I mean, look, with alcohol, drugs, domestic violence, kids not going to school, homelessness, kids being you know, that's been going on for years. Yeah, Putting this card on them, it did not change anything. No, Things no. got worse. Yeah. And you mentioned you know, before about the wraparound services. I mean, they're just non-existent when it comes to alcohol treatment or uh, drug treatment or things like that. There was, well, there was no wraparound service that initiated by Tokyo at that point in time. Yeah. And having said that, they should have known. The individual is the one that wants to go seek help. Yeah. And, you know? And, and the majority, they, you know, you, you mentioned the word budget. They would look at you as, well, what the hell is budget? Yeah. What do you want to budget? You know, they very rarely know, or well, they don't know at all. So it's basically, it's the basics. Yeah. You know, it's just... Um, and it prevents you from the basics as well. That's right, that's right. Yeah. I mean, you know, a few times I've helped a few people in the cold shopping centre here. Yep. And explaining to them, you know, I'm saying, Uncle, what you have to do, you know, when you're supposed to have people in these areas to help them out. That's right. Uh, did you no. ever experience any times where your card didn't work? Hang on, the rain's heavy. What's that? Yep. Did you ever experience any times where your card just didn't work? Um, well, some, some business didn't accept it when it was born, yeah. if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was no, nothing in place to say, well, oh, you can go this place, you can go that way. And if it's anything like the other trial areas, most people didn't understand anyway. So it, it just meant a lot of places were off limits. Yeah, it was really hard. Yeah. Um, do you yeah, find... Like, yeah, go on. Go on. Like that, that, that was great, but maybe. Yeah, that's okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, what was that? I was going to say, I, I, I've been to Sojourner quite a few times, which is another trial area, as you know. And yeah. The biggest event in Sejuna each year is the Oyster Fest. Yeah, 
and they don't take yeah. cashless welfare. So it's almost like the town's not invited and they're swept under the rug. And mm. I also know things like um, the Moscow Circus, when it was travelling from Adelaide to Perth, yeah. it would yeah. stop in places like Port Augusta, Port Pirie, but they don't even set up in Sajuna anymore because they don't take cashless welfare. So it, yeah. it means all of these cultural community events that make you feel yeah. like you're part of the community. Yeah, well, that happened here too. Yeah. Um, when we have a, every year we um, celebrate our agricultural show. Okay, yep, yeah. You know, every year um, at that time they couldn't use their card. They couldn't use it for entry to go in to take their families. Yeah. And, and their limit at the time was, because uh, it's only $200 every yeah. month. You know? It's ridiculous. And I, I remember it's around Sajuna, that morale breakdown, it hangs around for months in the lead up to it and the lead up after it as well. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, well, that weather and, um, sounds terrible there. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm inside now, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, all of a sudden, we don't know where it comes from, we're thinking Darwin. Yeah, mm -hmm. thanks, Darwin. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but it's a nice change, it's been 40 degrees here, mate. Wow, beautiful. Yeah. Um, and thank look, you, hey. uh, just while everyone's listening as well, Bev, I, I want to thank yeah. you for, you know, putting up a good fight for years and years and years, long before yeah. I even came along. You've yeah. been putting the good fight up there in Kununurra and we really yeah. need people like you. I, I just want to say thank you. Yeah. On behalf of everyone. Thank you. No problem. Beverly, thanks very much. And see, as it is now. Oh, sorry? And I mean, meeting yeah. ministers and what have you. Thank you, and technically speaking, that was a waste of time. Yeah, yeah. And that was, yes, I said, this is a waste of time. And Senate inquiries, it's almost like all of the submissions that we keep doing, they just end yeah. up getting filed and never looked at that's, again. Yeah, that's what I said. You know, why are we doing this? It's a waste of time. Yeah. Why haven't they... And this is another thing. Understanding with people is that, you know, there is a process. It goes to this one. It goes to that one. Yeah. But in the meantime, there's frustration. There's arguments. There's upsets. Mm. There's... Yeah. And, you know, and it, it really affects the, it affects the home and family life as well yes. because the tension is yes. palpable. That's right. And, you know, there's more, more illnesses to it. That's what I said to the lady. I said, well, look, honey, you know, you've got to consider anxiety. Yeah. That's about the mental health effects of it. People were having effects for paying rent. Mm. Yeah. All those things in the first year or so. And then all of a sudden, what was in go, yeah, they... Uh, Worked to to a part there where you can use the basic card, you can use the cash debit card there, and all these other places, you know. And I thought, nah, man, you took two years to do this. Yeah, the problem. We still don't know who the panels are. No, and it's highly it's secretive. No. And, and not and many people come off it anyway. Like it, it, it's a real shit fight. For no, like, well there is, yeah, well there is a there is a um, big long waiting list to come off it. There are a lot of people said they apply for it, and I said far out. I, 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 Months now. Yeah, I've managed to get the statistics and I have a particular interest in Sajuna, obviously, and mm -hmm. out of the 83 applications, only eight have been granted. Oh, wow. So everyone wow. is just sitting there waiting. And can I just say, none of those yeah. eight people are Indigenous. Are you serious? Yeah, it, it's are absolutely you? 